Hello there, and welcome back to another Thunderous Productions tutorial. I'm the bad man behind the mic, Jag Thunder, and this is Minecraft. What's up, everyone, and welcome to my SR71 Blackbird tutorial. In this tutorial, I will show you how to make my version of the Blackbird. This is a very simple and easy design, and I hope everyone enjoys the build. Like always, you may use this design however you wish. The only thing that I ask is that you give me credit for this cool and fun design. And also be sure to link my channel and this tutorial in your description if you upload any content contained from this tutorial. Other than that, let's sit back, relax, grab a handful of nuts, kick yourself in the face, and let's get this shit started. Alright everyone, this is my Blackbird. It is slightly over scale. The, uh, the original is actually 33 meters. This one is going to be 42. Uh, in case people are asking if it's to scale. It's close. Uh, I just want to make it just a little bit bigger to get that long nose effect on it. So anyways, we are going to start by looking at the materials. I'm going to build this out of quartz uh, just to make it easier to see. We're going to need black wool, some buttons, another brick fence, some glass, and some sort of a red material for the afterburner if you're building, in the, building it in the sky. Uh, if it's on the ground, we're going to use block of iron to uh, block up for the thrusters. All right, so let's pick a little spot over here and let's get started. All right, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to throw a metal block down, and this is going to help us align for the tires. Uh, if you're not building the tires, then you'll build from, obviously, the first layer that we start on. But anyways, what we're going to do is we're going to count out three blocks on each side. One, two, three, and on the fourth block, we're going to put a tire. Skip a space and put a tire, and then put two pieces of another brick fence in between like that, and put some buttons on the outside. And then do the same thing on the other side. One, two, three, four, and then your fencing and your buttons. Get on there, bitch. All right, now we're going to count forward, counting this block right here, 24 blocks. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, and 24. Now right here is going to be the center again. Oops, we don't need that. We're going to put our nether brick fence right here, and we're going to put a wheel on each side. And then our buttons. And that is your landing gear. So we can go ahead and get rid of this. And now let's build the very first layer of the plane. All right, guys, the very first layer. I went ahead and put this block back in because we're going to need it. Go ahead and build that up by two. And then we're going to need one more fencing on each side. So you're going to have a total of two. One, two. All right, now we're going to go back and get our black wool, and we're going to put one right here and go back seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We're going to run that to the front. All right, and when you reach the front, you're going to add five. One, two, three, four, and five. Go on each side, one block back, and run these all the way to the back and stop one short. Just like that. All right, so you should have 36 blocks from this block here all the way to that block, so the center line, and then 34 on the outside. All right, back on the nose section, guys, I added one extra block too many right here. So the outsides are 35, so you got one hanging over in the uh, short on the back, and then two on the front, just like that. Sorry about that. All right, we're going to go up one, and we're going to go forward three. We're going to come out one and back one on each side, and then out one and then back one. Now we're going to run both sides all the way to the back. All right, and we're going to go in, in, and one, two, and three, and do the same thing on this side. All right, off of this side, and what I do on this side, you're going to do on that side, but we're going to go back one here, and two more just like this. So you're going to have a total of four diagonal, one, two, three, four. All right, you're going to go off from that and come forward too. So you're going to have two exposed. And then you're going to come forward and do it again and have two more exposed just like that. All right, now these two are six. So two, three, four, five, six. Two, three, four, five, and six. All right, the next five rows just keep dropping back by one. So you just pick up off the side of the plane and drop back one block five times. So one, two, three, four, and one more. So you're going to have a total of one, two, three, four, and five, counting the side of the body. All right, this one here is going to turn into seven, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. You're going to pull the one right up next to it and stop one short. 
pull this one up and go one past and then pull this one up and go one past it just like that. Now let's do the same thing on the other side. All right guys, so that should be your pattern on the left side now. So it should look just like the right side. All right, starting on the right side, and again, it'll be the same on the left side. On this block right here, the second one in, we're gonna go up by one and back by five. One, two, three, four, and five. And then we're gonna do the same thing next to it. And again, and then just run that across to the other side. So you're gonna be five wide, one, two, three, four, five, and put one in the middle. All right, now we're just gonna go five, seven, nine, and 11. So we're just going one extra on each side to this block right here. Now if you're in the air, this is where your red block is gonna go, whatever you're using for your red material. If you're on the ground, you're gonna leave that out and you're gonna put your iron block or whatever you wanna use for your thrusters in that position right there. All right, from that block, we're gonna go out six, one, two, three, four, five, five, and six. So we're gonna overhang by one, and then one, two, three, and four, and the same thing on the other side. All right, you guys still with me? We're gonna move on forward. All right, so we're gonna turn the south side wing into three, and now we're gonna go six, counting that block. One, two, three, four, five, and six, and you should land right here inside of, or on the outside of this piece. All right, right here on this front section where this comes in, we're gonna put one block here and one block forward. And let's do the same thing on the other side just so we can get it lined up right. And we're gonna pull this side forward. And we're gonna pull this side forward. And fill that in solid. All right, we're gonna turn this one into seven, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. We're going to hit the back of this and run it up and go past two. Take the next one and bring that up. Stop one short. Bring the next one and go one past. And, whoops, and that should be one back and that should be one off. Sorry about that. Now bring the next one up. And that should go two past. And then add one more row right there. Now fill this wing in solid. All right, same thing on the other side, guys. All right, turn this block into three, and now go six, counting that block. One, two, three, four, five, six. All right, turn that into seven. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That stops right even with that one. Pull up the next one and go two past. One, two. Bring the next one up, and it should be even with the other one. Right there. So you're showing two blocks on the end. Grab the next one, bring it up one past, and then bring the next one, and you should be two past. Just like that. And then fill this side in. And I'll give you an aerial view so that you can count blocks or do whatever you need to do. All right, now we're gonna hit this middle block and we're gonna run this all the way up to the front. And we're going to stop two blocks short. And then we're going to grab one on each side, which will cover these holes. And that'll stop here. And the same thing over here. Now switch to your glass. Go to the fifth block. One, two, three, four, five. Cut out three holes. And that's obviously where your cockpit's going to go. All right, so keep your glass in your hand. Go ahead and put those three right on top of those. And then go back to your black wool and run this all the way to the back. And we're going to stop one short. Right there. All right, now over your thrusters, you're going to put three blocks and then one just like that. So do the same thing over here while we're back here. All right, now we're going to run these forward. And the middle one is going to go all the way up to here. Leaving two blocks exposed. And then your side ones are going to stop right here. Where that one cuts in. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right, do the same thing over here. Stop two short. Pull the outside one up to right here, and this one to right there. All right, let's finish it off by putting one block right here, 
and count back nine. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So it'll overhang by one. And then you're just going to make a stair pattern just like that. So you're going to go up two more layers. This one is going to draw even to the one underneath it. And this one here is going to draw one short. Just like that. And same thing over here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Make your stairs. Draw this even to the bottom. And that one short. And that is your SR71 Blackbird, guys. Pretty easy tutorial. Watch it again if you fucked up. Leave the wheels off if you want it in the air. Your cobwebs, run them right off your afterburners. Hopefully that's pretty obvious. And run them back about 80. <laughs> Something like that looks good. All right, guys, like always, I appreciate you watching. Remember to rate, comment, subscribe. Follow me on Twitter, and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Later.